Hello YouTube and well, welcome back to Rogue Graph. I am McDole and today I decided to do some stuff off camera so I basically just gathered some resources and uh, basically cleaned up the area that I explored already. Eh, you didn't really miss much of anything. I smelted all the stuff that I had gotten. So now that I have plenty of iron, let's get some defensive gear going, shall we? Maybe I won't take three damage from an arrow. Let's store some of this gear. And also, while I was cleaning everything up, I did find something extremely valuable. So, I grab a couple more iron picks. And I'll take you down to show you where they're at, to show you what I found. So, let's go away from that rain that's up above our heads. And I realized that I probably should get a sword going. So this, this faithful stone sword that has been with me pretty much since the beginning is now about to break. So I think it is time to upgrade the iron. I also made a bow, but I don't have really have the arrows for it, so... Not really gonna use that. I also need to get some more wood at some point. I'm still pretty good on I'm still have a pretty good supply of it, so I'm not really gonna stress about it. So if I can, you know, remember how to play this game, it'd be great. That's my Something seems to be a cursor. Anyway, that's that. Still pretty good on iron. Still 37 ingots left over, which is more than enough to justify the expense of making a full set of iron armor. Now, let's see if I remember how to get back down there. Hello, Mr. Tommy. And that's basically just because, you know, experience is always good. And I need to start thinking about enchanting in the future. And, uh, I hear an Endermang. Oh, yeah, I hear you, buddy. Believe me, I want to stab the hell out of you. But, even up here I can't be able to get to him. Oh well. Anyway. Anyway, the super special something that I found. I said I had to remember. Ah, yeah, it's this way. No, not that way, though. Swing around here into the super pit that I uh, found earlier. Down this way, I think. I did clean up the water when I found this, so that way I'd be able to just walk up to it. But, you know, maybe I should have left the water as a, wa as a landmark. Oh well, that's me being stupid. As usual. Oh no, it's right here. But anyway, before that, I will waste your time some more gathering resources, but if you, you probably know what I found already. Yep, there they are! Diamonds! Pretty fast, too, actually, finding those and some redstone. Alright, I'm just gonna make a way out real quick. 
quick. Alright. Let's just see how much diamond we got going on. to be a spectacular little deposit of diamonds, but it's something to start out. Four diamonds. Not bad. I will also need to gather some redstone because... Because, yeah. Because watches and, uh, compasses and maps, because I'll need to be searching out for a stronghold. And while I'm down here, I might as well start to continue to explore a little bit. Found this lava pool. Some gold right there. This last stone pick. So with all the iron that I'm finding, I'm thinking it's time for a permanent iron upgrade. Huh. Could have sworn I turned off the music. and me cannot stand to leave resources unmined. This coal vein should be enough to knock out the rest of this pickaxe. But anyway... Just an easy little discussion question for today. What would you guys like to see Minecraft do in the future? I mean, I really haven't looked a lot at the uh, snapshot stuff that's coming out, but so I couldn't really tell you what that's going to entail. So, go ahead and troll me by uh, suggesting stuff that's already in the snapshots, and then laugh as I say, Hey, you know what? That would be nice. And I find out it's already in the game, in the snapshots. And that I look like a clown. Oh boy. Hey you. I heard you like to stab with a sword, so I'm happy to oblige. Okay. You see, normally if I were playing, as soon as I got those diamonds, I'd be making a beeline up to my base. But remember, this is hardcore mode. We don't give a shit! See how many times I'm just falling down into the holes? I just don't give a shit! Because it's hardcore mode! So what if I die? Hoping that maybe around this lava somewhere there'd be a, another bunch of diamonds, but apparently that's not in the cards. Could do what I normally do when it comes to lava, but I don't think you guys would want to watch that. Let me just give you a little taste of what I do around lava. I dig too deep. 
around the surface of the lava. It's very exciting. Can't begin to tell you how breathtakingly thrilling it is to watch me do this. And here I am doing it. So this is the kind of stuff that I'll do off camera. Dicking around lava. Well, I think that's, uh, Enough digging for now. I need to... You know what? I can do this right here, I think. Yeah, I totally can, because there's water right there. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to set myself up some obsidian, because it's nether portal time. Just need to smelt some of this iron to make a bucket. And I can use the diamonds I just found to make a diamond pickaxe. And that Enderman that I keep hearing is annoying the hell out of me because I don't know where he is. Inventory management. It's so exciting. See, I got three and gets that's enough. Bucket. Let's grab this flow of water right here. And let's find a good place to start chipping away at the obsidian. I guess this can do right here. Chipping time. My next mesh. Ugh, gosh. Hand is twitchy and I keep twitching off onto the, uh, onto the next block. Starting the clock over again. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll dig this obsidian up off camera. And... You'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you next time after I'm done digging here. So, uh, this is McDowell saying peace out, y'all.